everyone. I hope you're having a great day today. Can you believe September's over? Because I can't. I cannot believe that I'm already filming my September favorites video. This is actually crazy. I've been at school for a month and we're heading into October. Today is October 1st, so this is insane. But I have been loving a lot of stuff over the month of September. I didn't realize how much I was trying and how much I got towards the end of August and have been using. And I have a lot of things here, so we're just gonna get right into the video. So first up for skincare, I picked up from Target this Pacifica Kale Detox Deep Cleansing Face Wash. I wanted to look for something to go with the um, uh, Alba Botanics one that I talked about in my August favorites video. And this one is so gentle and it's definitely detox. Like it cleans my face so well, but it, the smell is just slightly off-putting to me. It doesn't smell like kale. It actually kind of smells like a really sweet margarita. Um, so I don't know exactly why that is because I don't see alcohol of any sort listed here unless there's something else that smells like that. Um, but it is vegan and cruelty-free and I absolutely love it. I've been seeing a huge difference in my skin still. My skin is finally getting back on track. Thank the Lord. And it's definitely been because of the stuff I've been using in my skincare. So definitely recommending this for this month. And I talked about it in my favorites video in August, but I have still been loving it this month and I actually just finished it today. It is the Botanics Power of Plants Hydrating Day Cream, especially for dry skin. I feel like this is really amazing. It really hydrates my skin, especially when I use a lot of it. I just feel hydrated and amazing. So definitely still recommending this. Moving into makeup, there are two primers that I've been using on um, their own and together, and it is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. Excuse me. Um, the only one I use on its own sometimes is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. You all know that I've been using this since January. I love it so much, but I feel like in August I wasn't really using it a lot, and I've been reaching for it a lot more. I was using the Wet n Wild one for a while, I was using the Becca Illumining Primer for a while, and I fell back in love with this this month, so I'm still recommending this. It is still amazing and affordable. And then the Smoothing Primer by Makeup Forever I bought a while ago, and I would use it on and off, but I was never a fan of it. It was just kind of sitting in my drawer, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a try again. Um, let's pair it with something and see if it smooths my pores or the center of my face, and it definitely does. Um, I finally figured out a way to use it, and I'm happy with it, so I've been loving this combination and how they make my makeup look. So these two guys are at the top of my favorites for this month. And then before getting into makeup -y makeup things, um, the setting spray that I've been loving is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I am running out, I think it's on its last use or two, um, but it's only $4 at Target, and you don't get a lot. You only get 1.52 fluid ounces, but it works really well. I have definitely seen a difference in my skin from when I wasn't using a setting spray to using this, and I really enjoy it. So, And One Wild is cruelty free, so just another plus for them. Also by Wet n Wild this month, I have been loving the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is in the Dolce de Leche, and I love the highlighting shade. I use it to kick off my bake, actually, so I kind of use it as like my setting powder because it's basically the color of my skin, um, and I use it mostly under my eyes and on my cheeks, but it's just so smooth and beautiful, and it kicks the bake off so well, and then I love the contour shade for contouring. I just think it's a really great color for pale skin tones. I have no idea if the swatches are even showing up, but you do get a lot in this pan. Like, this pan is huge. It's like the size of the center of my face. You get so much in it. So I think it is definitely worth it, and I really have been loving the products. Baking powder. I have been on and off about baking powders for the past year. I never knew what I liked, what I didn't like, and there were some that came into my life that I was like, nope, I can't use you. There were some that I was like, yeah, I 
they're pretty okay, but I'm sure there's something better out there. And I found the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Thank you, Casey Holmes, for putting this in one of your dupes videos. It is incredible. This powder is so fine. Oh, and I just spilled it all over my scarf. Way to go. That's the only thing I hate about it, is it doesn't stay in its container well. It is such a finely milled powder. It is so, so soft and beautiful, and it smells... I couldn't even explain what the smell is, but it smells awesome. <laughs> and it's just so good. My face looks so different when I bake with it, when I don't. I notice such a difference in the longevity of my makeup and things like that, and I just really, really love it. I know it's really hard to get your hands on. I found this in a Walgreens. I had no idea it was going to be there. I'd never seen it before, and I knew I had to pick it up. I want to say it's about $10, but you get 2.3 ounces, and that is so much. I have been using this since the middle of August, and I feel like I barely even made a dent in it, so this is going to last. A long time. Now in August um, my friend Eden went to England and she brought me back the sleek highlighting palette and this is the solstice palette so this is the beautiful gold palette that everyone was raving about and I know why it is amazing this highlight shade right here is so beautiful oh my god it sings oh it is so good I love this palette um, I love topping it on other highlighters, um, like I'll put on Champagne Pop or I'll put on Champagne Truffle from the Nikki Tutorials palette, and then I'll just take a little bit with my finger of, um, I think this is Equinox down here, this one, and I'll just put a little bit right on top and blend too, and it is so beautiful. My highlight sings when I use it, and the packaging is just so beautiful, like, like I could do my makeup in the packaging that's how reflective it is um, it is just it's beautiful the other shades I haven't really dipped into but I feel like I will definitely be experimenting more with this palette in the coming months so I wanted to throw this in here because I really have been enjoying it throughout the end of August into September and of course if you have been watching my videos you know that I have been loving the Too Faced Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup palette. Um, I believe it is still available in stores. I will double check. If you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. And I have been loving it. Um, these two brown shades right here are everything I've ever wanted. Um, this setting shade right here is beautiful. I finally found a look that I can use the sugar coated for um, which I will link down below and I love the chocolate soleil bronzer I will definitely be picking up the full size of that and I love the champagne truffle highlight I use champagne truffle pretty much every day um, it is so beautiful I love topping champagne truffle on top of champagne pop by Jacqueline and Becca cosmetics it is so beautiful. It is definitely a versatile palette. However, it is definitely not for everyone. Um, it's not like a basics palette you can have because of the navy and the purple. Um, I also don't use these blushes at all. I don't think they look good on my skin tone and they're just not something I would ever use. But the eyeshadows and the bronzer and the highlighter are awesome. I love playing around with it and especially getting into a more fun season like going into fall and winter I feel like I'll be getting a lot of use out of this palette so I wanted to throw this in here and if you can still get your hands on it and you think you'd be interested I definitely would um, it's a really great collection and it comes with a lot you don't just get the palette so I think it is definitely worth it and in the Nikki Tutorials Too Faced collab you get the Too Faced sketch marker in jet black or in black and it's a liquid art eyeliner. I wasn't sure how I felt about this initially and I think I like it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. I used it to do my wing today. It is a little difficult to do a wing. I feel like the felt, the tip of it isn't great for being super precise and the gel liner, the liquid liner that I was using before, you had to press 
really hard to get exactly the, where you wanted with this, you don't need to press at all. You could literally tip it on your face and all the product would come out. It, it is very, very liquid. Um, I've never experienced a product like that before, so it took me a couple weeks to sort of get used to it. But now that I've been working with it for a while, I love how it deposits the product. It doesn't bleed. When I do get my wing right, it gives a very sharp wing and a jet black line that dries matte, and I, I really do like it. It is a great eyeliner. There's a little swatchy swatch for you. So you can make it like super thick or you can make it really thin. Um, it is a little harder to control the tip and I think that's a problem I have with it because I'm so used to gel and using a brush and I am able to control the thinness of it with a brush where with the tip of this I feel like I don't have any control over how thin it gets especially towards the edge of my wing. But overall I have really been enjoying product. Um, the last makeup thing I have is this sleek, what is the exact name of this? I have no idea. Um, I don't know what the exact name of this is, but it is the shade Berry Burst 1049 and I believe it is a lip plumping crayon. Um, it is very creamy, so beautiful. This is like swatch shade. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now and it is still tingling. Um, I love this color for fall and for September. I've been wearing it almost every day, and you, it's still really difficult to get sleek in the US. You can get it shipped, but it's a lot. So I'm trying to make this last as long as possible, and I don't know how it's going to work. Um, but I love it. It is just a great, um, like, my lips but better kind of shade. And I like lightening the center and doing like a sort of ombre with it and it is just, it's great. I can throw this on going to class, I can keep this in my bag and not feel like it's going to melt or anything. It sharpens really easily um, as long as you can find a sharpener that's this big and I think that's everything I have to say about it. It's just really great and I love the color and it's so perfect for fall. So a non-makeup related thing that I've been loving this month is... My backpack! Yay! I did a what's in my backpack video at the beginning of the month, so I will link that down below so you can check it out. But I love it. I love the color of it. I love the leather detail on it. I love how many pockets it has. I love that it's a backpack because I haven't had a backpack for three years. And the word backpack is now losing its meaning because I've said it so many times. But this carries so much and I feel like it's so sturdy and amazing and I'm very, very happy that it is in my life and that I made this purchase. And also, in non-makeup related things, I have been loving my phone case for my laptop. I love how soft it is and how sturdy it feels and how I feel like my laptop is very protected in it and there's a little bit of room so I keep a couple papers in here from meetings over the past week. Sometimes I'll throw my laptop charger in here and it doesn't feel like it's getting overstuffed and like it's gonna break the zipper or anything. It has a little bit of wiggle room in it and the zipper is really nice. You know, it's a little dirty because my makeup gets on it and things like that so I apologize but you know things happen. And I also really like my hard case on my laptop. Um, it is so beautiful. Every time I pull it out in class someone comments on it and it makes me feel so happy because it's so pretty and it's just this really pretty like rose gold but not rose gold. It's like gold with pink tones in it. I don't even know how to explain it but it matches my water bottle and that makes me really happy because I like continuity and um, everyone asks me if I did it on purpose and I definitely didn't but I just really like gold so yeah and it came with this really cute Let's see if I can open my laptop. Came with this really cute keyboard guy, and I love it. And it's just really sleek and soft and amazing. And the last thing I have to share with you guys today is a pair of shoes. These I have been dying over for the past month. They're this really cute pair of booties. They're suede, they're this taupe color, and I got them for $15 from Call It Spring, or Spring, um, it's called Spring Online, and they are very comfortable. It's about a three inch, two and a half inch um, heel. Um, they did take a little while to break in, but I have been wearing them to class. I wear them for a couple hours and they don't really start bothering me and I like them 
a lot and I'm very excited that we're getting into fall because I can finally wear them for real instead of just wishing that it was fall and wearing them because I was wishing it was fall, I can actually wear them and not feel weird about it. So, yeah, my boobies. That is everything I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and let me know some of your favorites for the month of September. And we are in October, so I'm going to start racking up my October favorites. So let me know what I should try out to see if it will be in my next favorites video. Also let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on this makeup look. I started to and then my camera freaked out so I just stopped and I was like, we're not even going to bother. But I think I really like it, so let me know what you guys think. And if you want me to do a tutorial on it, I used a couple different products, then let me know. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday, in case you were wondering. So you can check back and see what else I have planned. I'm very excited for October. Let me know if there are any like fall or Halloween looks you want me to film, because I'm really, really, really excited. And I'm going to stop rambling, because I have to go to work. But I love you guys. Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye!